TWP Theme Park Plunge, Kristen Steps here with another video already. I released one late last night speculating on what's next for Zamperla. Well, we found out what's next for Zamperla. Let's go. So we've had an announcement from Cedar Point this morning that Top Thrill 2 is going to experience some extended closures due to Zamperla needing to modify the trains on Top Thrill 2. Why exactly did this happen? Well, we saw last week when Top Thrill 2 was experiencing rollbacks. Multiple rollbacks in the same day, I believe it was around Thursday. And not only that. But it would hit the top of the top hat, it looked like it was going to stall, and eventually after, you know, 10 or so seconds it would fall one way or the other. And people were recording this, putting this on video, and, and, and uploading it to YouTube, and Snapchat, and TikTok, and all of that stuff. And so everybody's seen the video, we've seen that Top Thrill 2 is experiencing issues, and we knew they were going to have to be addressed. Now, a lot of people thought the, including myself, thought the issues were due to weather. You know, there's a lot of high winds, a lot of bad weather that comes in off the lake, especially at Cedar Point. And when you're at a location like Cedar Point, uh, it's definitely going to affect the operation of roller coasters. I remember uh, several years ago when I went to Cedar Point and like half the rides were closed due to wind. And it was very disappointing. I remember they weren't even running Gatekeeper. The, I went there opening year. And... Gatekeeper was not not running due to high winds, so it happens, and I've expected it. And so I wasn't shocked when it happened on Saturday that Top Thrill 2 was going to be closed for the day. And I knew I was taking a risk when I went opening day and got to experience the awesomeness of Top Thrill 2. Does that affect what's going on with the trains? Maybe, possibly. I think there's a high possibility that maybe there's some weather that is uh, stopping that train, especially when they said how lightweight this train was and that was going to attribute to speed. So what are they going to do to this train? We don't exactly know because they're not going to divulge that. Uh, I can only speculate. However, we do know that it's going to take time to do this because not only are they going to have to take time to modify this train, uh, the, after that's done, they're going to have to run some extensive testing and who knows what the weather conditions are going to be for that extended testing or what they're going to need to make sure that this is going as planned. So hopefully this ride opens sooner than later. I'm hoping this thing is done within a week or two. Could you imagine going to, um, Coaster Mania and this ride not being available to ride for Coaster Mania? Wow, that's going to disappoint a lot of people. Just think of all the people that are coming to Coaster Mania and there's no Top Thrill 2. That's going to be a huge, huge fiasco for Cedar Point. And if this ride doesn't open most of the summer, that'd be an even bigger fiasco for Cedar Point. It ruins the Cedar Point legacy, the Cedar Point name by, by this ride not being open. And just think of what it could do to Zamperla's name. It could hurt it very much as well. And Zamperla is going to have a hard time getting another chance with these high-end, high-speed, super-tall roller coasters. So do I think this is going to go more smoothly than not? I do. I Actually, I do. But it could be a train wreck if it's not. And that's all my point here. I have high hopes for Zamperla. I stand by what I said in the previous video. I would love to see more from Zamperla. But we need to see Top Thrill 2 running first. Let me know what you think. Is Top Thrill 2 going to open up? pretty quickly is it gonna be a month or two and uh, are you still planning and are excited to ride let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video peace